Hello, hello. Welcome to a Maker Studio Facebook page. I'm Cheryl and I create over on the Home and Making Facebook page. So I'm here today. I want to show you a fun project. So we released at the end of last year a new stencil that was called the Giving Plate. I love the concept of this stencil. So what this stencil says is this plate belongs to everyone wherever it may go with each new sharing of its gift the love and the blessings grow so fill it up pass it on to family and to friends to start the circle one more time love's journey never ends so basically the premise of this stencil is to put it on a platter put it on a plate and put your goodies on there and when you give it to somebody they get to keep the plate and then pass it on the next time they go and give something to eat to somebody else so i love that premise then you have on here also giving plate shared with love fill it up 2021 pass it on and then you have another little one that says the same exact thing here so you got a couple of different sizes and then you have this bigger graphic so i just love the thought of that it's kind of like the gift that keeps on giving so let me show you what i'm going to do with this today i purchased a wooden plate at hobby lobby now, these are fun. It, it, it could be a charger, it could be a plate. And this is what I'm gonna do my um, stencil on today. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take some of the um, Amy Howard at Home Gel Stain in Windsor Gray. And I'm gonna take a foam brush and I'm gonna use the stain on this particular um, plate. So if you've never used the stain before, don't be intimidated. It smells lovely. It has a citrus scent. And the thing that I like about it is because it does have the citrus scent, you don't have to worry about using a product like this in the house because it's not going to smell your house up like a typical stain where you would want to do it outside. So for even little projects like this, I love this stain and they have a bunch of different um, shades and this happens to be the Windsor Gray. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to apply it and then I'm going to take a lint free rag and just wipe off the excess. So as you hop on, let me know where you watch it from and don't forget to tag three friends and you can be in the giveaway for this particular stencil so tag three friends and share this tutorial so that you can be in the giveaway and you would do that in the comments below so i'm just getting that all on there i'm going to take a lint free rag i'm going to clean up my mess and now i'm just going to wipe the excess off what it's going to do it's going to show the grain of the wood really well and that's what i like about using stains instead of sometimes always using a paint because the paint is opaque that means it would cover this whole grain up and you wouldn't see any of the wood look. So I chose on this particular project to use the stain. Now, if you think that it's too opaque, the stain, you can um, apply another layer. So that's exactly what I'm gonna do. I already went ahead and did the back. So let me just get the sides of this and I'm gonna just hit it with another layer of this stain so it smells good I, I, I wish you could smell it on my end it doesn't have like a foul smell or anything like I said it, it smells citrusy so this is going to make a nice gift when you present somebody with a baked good and they get to um, pass this plate around so let me just hit it again with another layer of the gray. And it'll just get a little bit darker. But you're still gonna be able to see the wood grain, which is what I like with it. I like the 
the look of the wood coming through. And this particular color, again, is called Windsor Gray. So if you just hopped on, I took a wooden plate and I am now just staining it with the Windsor Gray gel stain. It is a water-based stain too, by the way. So again, no foul smell and it does have like a um, citrus scent. Again, you could see all the wood grain in here. So I'm just removing excess. And if I need to touch up any place, I can. Just see if I can get that over there. So I am going to hit this with a um, heat gun. And the reason why is I need it to dry. Otherwise, you could just walk away for it for a little while and it will dry. Because it is a water-based stain, it is going to dry pretty quick. But I do need to just get it dried so I can continue with my next part of the project. And I just love this stencil. Again, so don't forget to tag three friends in the comments below and share this tutorial. I just love the concept of it being a giving plate. So again, I already done the back before I got on. Actually, yes, let me just do the sides a little bit more. As I held it up, I realized that I might have missed something there. And I did purchase this particular plate at Hobby Lobby. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the um, this part of the stencil and put it in the center. And you know what? It fits perfectly. And I love the little vine effect going around the words. So a lot of detail in there, which it's going to look fabulous on this particular project. So that's dried. So if you're new to the line of a Maker Studio stencils, these are a tri-mesh stencil. So they come in these little sleeves. And what you do is you pull your stencil out. It does have a backing in there to stabilize the um, plastic envelope. And it's got a backing and these are adhesive. So what you do is pull it off its backing and place it on your surface. And the key is to get it flush with whatever you're putting it on. And in this case, it would be the wooden plate. Just trying to center it a little bit. And then just burnish it down so that it's a tight fit against whatever surface you are adhering it to. If you find that you have little air pockets under here or even little, um, Wrinkles, all you have to do is lift it up and put it back down and get all of your air pockets and your wrinkles out. Once you achieve it to be stuck onto your surface, now you can take your product. So the stencils work with a lot of the, oh, actually everything that we have. It works with the paint, it works with the gilding, it works with the etching, it works with the gel art ink, it works with the um, chalk art. So I'm going to use Well I Declare Gel Art Ink. And the reason why I want the white is because I do want this, all this words and this saying to pop against the stain. So I am going to take one of our squeegees, I'm going to put it on the back of it, and I'm going to apply just a little bit of the gel or ink to the back. So I just got a little bit on there. So the way I like to approach the stencil is I always hit my first pass on the gray area, and then I push it through. 
just the way that I like to do it. I prefer the less is more version, which means if I need to go back and add product to my squeegee, I do. Especially when it's coming out of the gel art ink container. And the reason why is you can't put it back. So there's no sense of wasting it. And you can keep going back and just adding a little bit more. So I'm being mindful and I'm looking to see if I have gotten every aspect of the stencil. And how I can see that is when I see the white going through and I don't see the back or the um, surface that I'm using right now. In other words, all the stencil is turning white because that's the color that I'm using. Okay, I'm gonna add a little bit more to the back of that. And again, this is Gel Art Ink in Well I Declare. The Gel Art Ink was actually formulated for fabric, but you can use it on wood, paper, almost any surface and fabric. So it's a multi-use product. Let me just turn it this way. And then, like I said, I'm being mindful also not to go off the stencil and onto the surface. If you felt like you were gonna do that, just tape off the edges around there and you won't get it on them. Again, looking so here we go here we go here we go here we go I love I just love the contrast I love this stencil and it's just a great concept so what I'm gonna do is because these are washable reusable adhesive stencils I need to get all that product out of here now what you would do at home at this point is go run this under a sink use your hand to manipulate all that product out of there and they then lay it sticky side up on a clean cloth I'm just gonna put mine in a water bath basically that's a tub filled with water and the reason why I do that is it prevents the product from drying while I'm on this live. So look how pretty that is. Simple, easy. It's a gel stained wooden board with the beautiful stencil on it. It's gonna make such a great gift when you present your baked goods in it. Now, what I will do when this whole thing dries, I am gonna put a matte sealer on it. And we have a matte sealer at a maker studio that you can just roll or brush on. So I'm going to do that so that it seals everything. Now, this is permanent. The um, gel art ink is permanent. It will not rub off. But just for the purpose of putting food or anything on top of it, obviously, it's a wooden plate. So we're not going to be putting anything moist. But I will go ahead and seal that with the matte sealer. So I want to show you one other quick quick project that I can do with the other stencil. Actually, I put it in the water, so we won't be doing that. <laughs> I put it in the water, so we're not going to be doing that. But what, what you also can do, <laughs> live TV folks, is you could just take any ceramic plate plate and do the same concept with our ceramic paint and you would just put that through the stencil let it set for 24 hours and then you can um use that as a giving plate also so a couple of ideas to use with the stencil and um it's it just makes such a great gift to go ahead and give to your neighbor give to a friend. We got Valentine's Day coming up. So you could use some red uh, ceramic paint and give your goodies in it. You could put some chocolates on it, anything. Again, endless possibilities. I love, love this stencil and it just makes such a great gift. So there you go. Tag three friends, share this tutorial, and you will be in the giveaway for this stencil. So have a great, guy, a great day, guys. Thanks for watching.